Commander-in-Chief who will never leave our men and our women behind. Let me get a little bit personal on this. Um, I'm talking about not leaving our wounded warriors behind also. Our wounded warriors who come home from the battlefield bringing new battles with them. Our wounded warriors, sometimes in body and in mind, coming back different than when they left for the war zone. I can talk personally about this. I guess it's kind of an elephant in the room because my own family going through what we're going through today with my son, a combat vet, having served in a striker brigade, fighting for you all, America, in the war zone. But my son, like so many others, they come back a bit different. They come back hardened. They come back wondering if there is that respect for what it is that their fellow soldiers and airmen and every other member of the military so sacrificially have given to this country. And that starts from that, the top. It's a shame that our military personnel even have to wonder if they have to question if they're respected anymore. It starts from the top. The question, though, that comes from our own president, where they have to look at him and wonder, do you know what we go through? Do you know what we're trying to do to secure America and to secure the freedoms that have been bequeathed us? So when my own son is going through what he goes through coming back, I can certainly relate with other families who kind of feel these ramifications of some PTSD and some, some of the woundedness that our soldiers do return with. And it makes me realize more than ever it is now or never for the sake of America's finest that we have that commander-in-chief who will respect them and honor them.